there is no way this is possible like this is this is actually an illusion and what i watch is actually an ai video i i'm not believing this like it's not possible the bible says you reap what you sow am i, am I going to hell the fuck your bible pardon me am, am i going to hell for playing dungeons and dragons uh no you only go to hell for not believing in, in, in god am i going to hell for being trans if you don't repent yes am i going to hell for being a lesbian if you don't repent yes Why are you running, you coward? Why are you, you're a coward, bro? Why do you break stuff, people's stuff, and run like a coward? You're a coward, bro. Hey, police! Police! This guy's police! Police! Hey, Toronto police! You're going to jail, bro. Officer! 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 Leave him the fuck alone! You're going to jail, bro. You're going to jail. That's assault, bro. All you're doing is assaulting me on camera. You're going to go to jail. Keep assaulting me, bro. Officer! Officer! Holy fuck. Officer! Fucking snowflake. Officer! Police! Police! In this country, you can't assault people. I don't know where you're from, but in this country, you can't put your hands on people like that. It's called assault. That's nice. That's it's called nice. assault. You can't Fuck kick off, people's friends, stuff. Friends. You can't break people's Fuck stuff. Off, Nazi. Fuck yourself, Nazi! Police! Only good Nazis are dead Nazis! Eventually I'll see an officer, it's all good. There's a lot of them out today. He kicked my speaker and threw some water on it and then kicked me. breaking my stuff. As, as soon as I get their attention. You should expect people as soon as to I, take issue with your hate. I should, accept, I should expect violence because you can't control yourself. You That's why people go to jail because they can't control themselves. If you're screeching transphobia okay, so it's okay in to a kick country me. So it's okay to kick me. folks have rights. It's okay to kick me then, right? That's what you're saying? It's okay to kick people. It's okay to knock over people's stuff. It's okay to break people's stuff. That's what you think, bro? I'm not. A, That's what you think? That's what you think, bro? Hey, police! Good for you. Good for you. Police! Oh, oh, am I? Oh, harder. Am I going to hell for being trans? Yes. Am I going to hell for being a lesbian? Yes. Am I going to hell for being a lesbian? Yes. Am I going to hell for being a lesbian? Yes. For the fact folk people are giving the past that you can add illusion and we we'll all agree to it. They feel like you can actually do anything and there's no law and order. And when it gets to view do like they see how stupid what they have done is and they feel like nah I shouldn't have done this. But like it's too late, you've done it. You can't run away from it. Like it the deed has been done. Get ready with me to go see my ex. I'm going to an event tonight and one of my ex-boyfriends is going to be there. I haven't seen or spoke to him for years, so this is going to be fun. Considering this is how I looked last time I saw my ex, I think he's going to be in for a big shock. I'm going to add this adorable maxi skirt under this taffeta dress, flower belt, fuzzy crochet tie, my ex actually cheated on me, but it was a high school relationship, so we cool now. It's fine. Plus, I'm going to wear this ring so I can tell him I got engaged. 
I also have little mushrooms on my nails. Going to add this crochet beret. This bag because it's cool as shit. My Colina sneakers match the gold flecks on my lips. I should have worn my Mew Mews because he actually got these for me. <laughs> Anywho, Gucci frames. Okay, here is the full fit. I'm quite obsessed with this dress. I literally just thrifted. It's so perfect. I mean, how can you let me go in this outfit? Really? How? How could you? She's in love with Hi. Should you cut off contact with family members just because they are voting for Donald Trump? Yes. If so far they have not been able or willing to listen to compassion, to listen to kindness, to listen to you, or even to do their own research and discover that hatred's not the answer, that love and kindness is the answer. If they are unwilling to change, they must they must experience consequences, and you should not withhold those consequences from them. The consequence in this case would be they don't get your beautiful, loving, wonderful presence in their lives. It's over. And they are gone. You need to make it real for yourself. I feel disappointed to people who listen to Moped like this. Like, this guy irritates me. Like, me watching this video, I'm, I, I'm pissed already. As a black African, I feel like this is pure stupidity. And anyone who, who's actually watching his content needs to actually block him or, like, report his channel because it does not make sense. What he said does not make sense. For the fact, your family does not want to vote for another party does not mean they hate you or... See, I understand that some people are passing through some mental issues and for the fact you are seeing Muppet like this advocating that stupidity, it's it's wrong, like it's not supposed to happen. Like let's tell ourselves the truth. Sure pray that we're able to give it to children that we can actually train and not allow social media or the woke mentality catch up with them because it's actually heartbreaking for you to see your child from heaven see how from this stupidity it's it's crazy to be honest You put your phone on a dumbbell rack, then get upset with people when they walk in your video trying to grab some weights? Seriously? I'm sorry. You don't own the gym, and when you're filming, you're the inconvenience, not the people that are trying to work out, which everybody tried to tell you before you conveniently turn off all your comments. Your response was, it was just a joke, and you ask, do you even look mad? Yes, you literally roll your eyes and shake your head at those people. Not to mention you agree with somebody that comments how rude those people are. If you want to film somewhere where no one's going to walk in your video and you can block all the weights with your camera, build a home gym. Train there. Until then, you need to do better. Mind your own business. We are not at a point right now to be talking about policy difference because we are not running against a normal human being. Right. We are running against Donald Trump, who is an existential threat to humanity and democracy. Now, let me, before we just go. <laughs> well, and then, first of all, I'm really sorry that this is happening to you. But let me ask you this question in a way that your brain can hopefully process. You got two options. Under the current administration, as we speak, the world is on the brink of World War III. Now, under Trump, zero wars around the world. Two options here. Which one seems like an existential threat to humanity?
Are you pregnant? Huh? Yeah, she's pregnant. She's had an abortion. Do you have a problem? Are you gonna abort it? You get to you get to choose when you want to be a dad. She did it. I have a girlfriend. She was fucking raped. Do you have a problem? How does she feel about this? Does she need to fucking prove that to you? Yes. Ma'am, I know I know you're about to have a baby. If you wanna if you wanna keep the baby living, there's a church out here. What am I? Yeah, they are. You have a child. Get up and set to me. Get up and set to me. My body, my body, my choice. My body, my choice. Your whole fucking group left. You were the only one still here. You win. Fuck. I am not a and I will say this is another reason why we need Donald Trump because he already said he's gonna put an end to this rubbish. This is pure rubbish. Like there's see there's no better name to call it. There's no way you want to sugarcoat it. Like this I see I don't understand how this virus passed on so fast. Like it's spreading. And you seeing people from different countries actually picking up this because they're seeing it on social media is heartbreaking. You seeing men wanting to act like women like it's crazy a women saying see her child the lady there her child is obviously more than three four months and now you want to do an abortion like it's bro it's it's sad well, i don't appreciate your use of the slurs since we're on the subject of slurs isn't this you dean hella goaded my my what dude that's that's crazy closeted what now what are you calling people on the internet I thought that you defended this community. I thought you put your life on the line for them and you're making fun of the stuff they do. Weren't you just part of a debate saying that their behavior is normal, that their sexual practices are normal? Seems like you're making fun of it. Nice award, dude. Third place. Yeah, you're not used to winning, are you? Dang, <laughs> that's so tough. There are a lot of people who on the internet, people who say this well do another and it's actually crazy and heartbreaking. But listen, it's bad. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> yeah, really easy for someone to say that grew up in a really nice house in one of the best school districts in I Texas. I know, but it's bad. Who has the rent paid for what that is able to go to Europe and on a whim with their sister who's able to do girl math, who's able to be fun employed. Yeah, it's easy to say that the system's bad when you're doing that because you've never had to work for it. You never got to actually see what happens when you put in the work and get benefits and actually have a little bit of responsibility and actually build something or do anything. You've grew up in privilege beyond privilege beyond privilege beyond privilege. It's only the people who speak like you that grew up in a world where you've never had to do a single thing in your life. So I don't wanna hear about that. What a joke. I'm sorry, I just wish everybody had like- I wish a lot of things. Wishing doesn't get people places. You try to create the best systems possible. This is matter oh my bro he came at her like real hard and gave her a reality check to be honest like i feel the system is bad but like i honestly believe with hard work and diligence you can actually beat the system like andrew Tate says like put in the work and you see the result like i just feel everyone can put in that work so about a month ago i was fired after i came out to my boss's trans <laughs> Just trying to shop at AGV, and I had my dog in the cart, and they told me, they told me that that I have to, I can't have him in the cart, and I asked the manager, I said, if I put him in his, in a, a, a something underneath him, can I? Because otherwise, it's hard for me to carry him while I'm pushing the cart around the store. And they said they would accommodate me, but then they got, they just, I was just shopping, and they, kicked, they just kicked me out. I just washed groceries and they kicked me out. said that you're the manager and you said that I need to leave the store with my service animal because you're not allowed to have my service animal in the cart while I'm shopping. Can you clarify what the rule was that I was breaking, which is why I need to leave this continuing to mistrend me? Can you go ahead and tell me 
why I need to leave the store again. So I have it clearly documented. Thank you for thank you for recognizing. I appreciate it. Fucking assholes. It's fucking H E B. I can't even shop at the fucking grocery store down the street from my fucking house without being fucking harassed by people who come and misgender me. Tell me I can't have my fucking service animal. Take care of me. It's fucking bullshit. It's fucking terrible. Fucking goddamn Americans. Y'all are fucking horrible, horrible fucking things. I wish you didn't fucking exist. I feel people with mental health are giving their phones as therapy because they run to your phone when anything happens in their life, they run to your phone like advice help validation and it's crazy because these people need actual help not social media like i honestly believe that people should be able to recognize that and give their family members the help they need and not allow them post rubbish like this on social media we are on the same page if you don't look like a girl get the f out of the girl's bathroom Certain i don't positions. think you belong in the girl's bathroom but you wouldn't my love you wouldn't know well, like, but before you're it, saying, it a lot of the issues that we're having is the divide where it's competition my love we're like we're dating the same men we're rather we want to not dating the yeah same you men. we are baby trust me no, we, are not. we are i don't know about dating yes the same we are man. we're dating the same dude i think there's... that there's a competitive aspect to where like carolina you this is where i just know. full on cut you off I'm... if i had a traditional trans women i just think that this is the same men as biological women like it's crazy because i will never go for a trans woman like it's not just gonna happen like you you man in my eyes so it's when i see i'm okay so it will never happen i love breasts so i i will never never in this life i know a million i can say a billion men who will never do the same so i i really don't understand what she's saying he is saying right here okay so today i had a conversation with a student and she was ranting because she couldn't quite understand how no one else in class, my classes or in the school, has noticed or comment and noticed and commented either or about the fact that I have a chest. Now. I'm I'm small for most women, especially because they're my size. They're just barely technically B cups. I've been on hormones about a year, difference from most trans women. I'm bigger, so I have a lot of, I have more body fat for my body to work with, to move around, to make things happen. So I, I kind of a cheat, have a cheat code that way. Because your body needs fat to work with to redistri redistribute it. Um, but the main point is I just found it funny that one of my students... Um, a, t a teenager was ranting to me about how it's so easy for her to notice. How come no one else has noticed? She's kind of got a point. And like, I'm not actively hiding purple curly hair, cat's eye glasses in the classroom, painted nails all the time, bracelets. I wear skinny jeans. I wear... I've worn um, women's dress pants a few times. Basically, I don't have any men's pants or anything. And then my shirts are fairly tight because that's where I'm comfortable. And even though I don't have the best body, I feel comfortable. Um, but I do find it funny because she's kind of right. How did people not notice? How have they not noticed B cups yet? That's just my rant for today. Have people like this should not be allowed in children's spaces and I'll tell you why because for the fact that see, this is new and I honestly believe that this is going to influence children's lives. Children are influenced by things they see and them seeing this kind of person, I'm not saying what he's, I, I honestly believe that what he's doing is wrong, like this is my belief but like I believe based on research they said it helps their mental health and I believe that a lot of things can help their mental health than them transitioning but like i just honestly believe these people are not supposed to be close to children because i will not want my children close to someone like this i don't care if you are the best teacher in the world but no like if this does not portray the values i want to pass down to my children so a lot of people still don't a lot of parents right now don't want their child to be close to teachers like this this is something i'm happy and i believe that the natural is going to stop because it's 
really not supposed to be happening. You've seen women that are getting hurt competing against uh, trans athletes. You saw that? Yeah, that's... She sustained brain damage after getting hit in the face with a volleyball by a trans athlete, a rugby player who was pulled out after injuring three females. What's your reaction to that? I can't say anything. I don't know. Will you sign my petition to keep men out of women's sports? Uh, no. 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 Mm -mm. Um, I don't think so. No. no, I don't think so either. Before you, you know, I asked if you think that women should have their own safe space and you said yes. Do you think that it's keeping women safe space by allowing biological men to be in their spaces and compete against them? Um. This is the crazy part about it, is the fact that we know the truth and we just don't want to accept it. I'll say a lot of people don't want to accept it because for the fact I know men and women are different. Trans men and trans women also to be in opposite spot, like stay with the gender you were given birth with. And this is something that a lot of people how many trans men do you think enter male sports? Like how many women are facing transition to a man that want to join the male sport? No. Because the men who transition to women know that it's gonna be easy for them to dominate the female sport and it's crazy that a lot of women don't like haven't figured out this trick. See, it's crazy in the sense that men have been dominating women from the test of time and now women got equality, feminism and all men were into it. Like women should be given equal rights. And now you see women saying they want men in their space. It's 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 sad because you you guys fought a lot for this now you have it now you want to just let it go based on the fact that you don't you want you don't want to hurt some people's feelings or you want to be sentimental about it and i believe that sentiment actually kills people way faster than the, than the truth 